What's going on YouTube? It's Grubby back. <clears throat> back with the chess game. And look, the last time I checked, and I've checked many times because I was so excited when I uploaded this first video. 74 views. 74 views on the first chess game. It's huge. Alright. Anyway, so here it is again. Um, so this is the redstone. Check it out. There's not much. Alright, so for, I'm just going to try and do an explanation, try and explain how it works. Um, it's definitely could be more compact, but the way it works is is simple. It is just, it took me ages to work out, and there was lots of uh, paper, lots of paper. So, so yeah, the thing that makes this design so, so um, efficient is they, these modules are all exactly the same. They're all exactly identical. Yeah, and they're on a they're on a grid like this because they use relative coordinates. So this one uses relative coordinates because it is linked to its um, the one over there, right? So basically, what happens is when when a button is pressed on this control board, um, the redstone a redstone block will be placed right here where I'm standing. And that will activate this instantly. Set block to air. This one to air. And that will basically get rid of it. So it's it's pulsed. It's done its job. The redstone block has done its job. So the first thing it does, apart from doing that, is it looks at this. It tests for this coordinate for a stone slab, and it tests for the same coordinate for air. Now what that does is, if you look closely, just there, there's a stone slab on each, on every piece. And what happens is, a the, when the piece is cloned over here, it'll be there with its stone slab. This is the exact coordinate. So it tests, is there air there? Yes. Is there a stone slab there? No. At the moment, there is not. So, it'll run one of two programs. One of which, if there is an air block, one of which, if there's a stone slab which means if there's a piece there or if there's not a piece there. Okay, so moving on. This one this one spawns uh, these these two actually. These two summon sand blocks right there and right there. And that that basically executes the uh, the program. So at the moment uh, it what the last program that was run, it was there was a piece there. So there's there will be a sandstone block that gets spawned there and it activates this one and that clones the piece right so it clones the spot this is this is when there's a there is a piece there in that red zone it clones the red zone the piece in the red zone and places it um, back to um, wait, what does that do it clones it back to its original spot I believe yeah, it clones it back to its original spot relative to this command block. Uh, so it puts it back to its original spot, and then this one fills fills that red zone with air, because there's still a piece there. It's just cloned it, and it will fill it back, fill it with air. And these these two just get rid of these sandstone blocks because we don't want those anymore. So uh, so what's going to happen is at the moment there is no piece, so it's going to execute the air command. And it's going to move that rook over to the red space. Uh, so, yeah, so we're going to do that now. Just manually place a redstone block. Just like that. And you could see the sandstone, you could see that the redstone block was there, and you can see all these different uh, block placed uh, things in the, in the chat. So, as you can see, it's gone and cloned the rook, it's just rendering now, I believe. Yep, there we go. So, so now that's there. It's executed that command, and now it's going to execute um, the command where, if there's a st stone slab there, which there is. So if I place that there, that's going to activate the system again, and it's going to put it back where it was. So that's how it works. So it's pretty simple how it works, but there was a lot of time thought um, trying to think how to compact this, how to make it 
uh, you know, more efficient. And I'm sure the stone slab, I mean, the, the sandstone appearing there doesn't really need to happen, but, but being me, I don't really know how to use command blocks all that well. I just know basic stuff like this. So, but that's how, that's how you make, that's how I made this chessboard. Um, yeah, I hope if you're trying to make one, then this, this helps. Uh, this maybe maybe helps you compact it because I did try another design and um, and it failed. It failed miserably. It was it was actually uh, 32 times less compact because actually no, it was even more than that because each each single one you've got to do it yourself. So 64 times 16 or something times more efficient this is. So yeah, anyway, I hope that helped. Um, yeah, so leave a like if it helped. Leave a like if, you know, if you like chess. I don't know. Just, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's all. I'm just glad that you watched it. That's all. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Poof.